I'm going to actually do this through the voice of my daughter. Uh, so I have two monkeys, as I call them. I have a, a first year in college and a junior in high school. And my daughter, her senior year in high school, walked into my home office upstairs and handed me a piece of paper. And it said, four-way speech contest essay at the top of it. I didn't know what this was. She literally just walked in and handed it to me and and then sat down next to me. So she she wanted me to read it while she was there. So it says, four-way speech contest essay, and then it's entitled, Live to Inspire. So I think this will help answer part of that question for you. So And bear with me, because I usually can't get through this without breaking down, so I'll, I'll do my best. This story about to be told is about an extraordinary man, now 42 years young, who accepted all the obstacles life had to throw at him. Now, I know you may be thinking that everyone has different obstacles they just overcome throughout their lifetime, so how is he different from you and I? What makes this particular man different from you and I is the tactic he used when faced with these obstacles. What makes him different from you and I is that he took these obstacles and used them to help make a difference and inspire others, to never let life get in the way of their greatness and achievements. What makes us different from everyone else is not the obstacles life throws at us, but what we do when faced with these obstacles. Will you choose to accept defeat or will you choose to persevere? On May 13, 1975, a child was born at Cedar sinai Medical Center in Los Angeles. This child was born three months early, weighing a pound and a half, and because of this was a premature baby. During the early 80s, he was diagnosed with a neurological disorder called Tourette's syndrome, which is a type of tick or involuntary repetitive movement and vocalization disorder. And one day at camp, the counselor had to take this young boy to a payphone, tears streaming down his face, to call his mother because his neck was constantly snapping to one side over and over and over again. He went to various doctors who performed countless medical examinations to try and find a cure for his disorder. Every doctor said the same thing. He's fine. He'll grow out of it. And one day in fifth grade, he stood up in front of his entire class and shared with them what Tourette's syndrome was and what living with Tourette's syndrome was like. A huge weight was lifted off his shoulders uh, once he shared his story with his classmates, and it generated many supporters, whether they be friends, parents, or teachers. Finally, a specialist at UCLA told him he would never be able to get rid of this disorder alone and suggested that he take a special drug called clonidine to help with the tics. Unfortunately, with this drug came horrible side effects. He made a conscious decision after a few years not to take the pills and to try and master his condition through focus and determination. After a while, the ticks started to diminish, and for the most part, they went away. No one knows what life has in store for them. All we can do is live until we're forced to face an obstacle in which we must make a choice to either overcome or accept defeat. The Rotary 4-Way Test demonstrates how one person can make a difference in the lives of others. With the experiences this boy had to face came a life lesson with determination perseverance, and support from others, anything can happen. Now at 42 years young, this man chooses to use his story to make a difference in others' lives by inspiring people in times of uncertainty. He implements the Rotary's motto, service before self, by finding the light in those who cannot find it in themselves, supporting them through their tough obstacles. He helps lift people's spirits and hopes in times of hopelessness and despair. He helps people turn their ideas and dreams into realities. He helps build people from the ground up in hopes that they too will one day share their stories with others. He makes a difference in this world each and every day, which inspires others to make a difference as well. Who may you ask is this man? Well, he is my father. Out of all the lives he's made the biggest difference in, I believe he's made the biggest difference in mine. He inspires me never to give up on what I believe in, to always do what makes me happy, but most importantly, 
to always live every day as if it were the last because we're never guaranteed a tomorrow. As Gandhi once said, be the change you wish to see in the world. Making a difference in the lives of others is my dad's change. What will be yours? <laughs>